This is Russia's first modern airliner. Even though the aircraft has a questionable reputation, the Russian Federation has seen potential in it. Despite this, airlines outside of Russia have been hesitant to buy it in favor of Western planes, and the entire European Union has banned it from flying in its airspace. So does this plane's future really look that bad? And is the plane really that modern after all? Well, let's start with a bit of context. In 2000, the Russian aerospace company Suhoi was set up to make the first brand new commercial plane in Russia after the dissolution of the Soviet Union nine years prior. It was their attempt to compete with Western manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus. Studies quickly started for the Russian regional jet, as it was called back then in early 2001, and by October the Russian government had allocated almost $47 billion for developing it. The plan was to build an airplane that could carry around 80 people, with the first flight set for 2006. In September 2005, Russia's national airline Aeroflot became Suhoi's first customer. They ordered 30 planes from the company which was a good start for Suhoi. The airplane was in fact a huge step forward for the Russian aerospace industry. The S-100 was the first plane to have a glass cockpit, which means that instead of old-fashioned knobs, computers showed modern flight controls. After a two-year delay, its first flight took place in May 2008. This meant that the rescheduling of its first flight caused further issues in the program, as it was now impossible to stick to the original delivery schedule. Suhoi finally decided to start sending out planes in 2010, but design flaws were discovered with a power jet engine that made more noise than expected. As you would imagine, it was disappointing news for the two airlines that had already placed an order. It wasn't until February 2011 that it got type certification. Ormavia was the first airline to fly the S-100 in February, it took a long time Time, but it finally happened. Aeroflot's first planes came soon after, but things were quickly going downhill. In March 2012, Aeroflot's first six superjets were mostly on the ground due to failures and parts delivery delays, so Russia's flag carrier requested compensation. Armavia, the airline mentioned before, went one step further by sending back the two planes it had already received by cancelling its order. A few months later, the program got the final knockout. Up. Too low, gear. performing a test flight, an airplane crashed into a mountain in low visibility. All 45 people on board perished, including journalists and representatives from potential customers. The crash made headlines right away, creating further pressure on the already problematic start of Suhoi's brand new aircraft. Pilot error and terrain awareness system issues caused the crash, which alarmed the West. Was this mysterious new plane actually safe to fly? As you might have guessed, this accident made many buyers reconsider their choices and look at the alternative options they had. Airlines were choosing Airbus and Boeing planes for a good reason, they were simply better. The Superjet 100's hydraulic system just couldn't keep up with the state-of-the-art fly-by-wire system, which Airbus had implemented into their A320 decades ago. The goal of this feature is to reduce the amount of work the pilot has to do on the flight deck. It does this by turning the pilot's input into electrical signals that send data to the the flight computer. The flight computer then sends a response which is used to move the plane. The A320 and 737 had more precise and sophisticated navigation systems than the Superjet, and hundreds of airlines around the world had already used these western aircraft. Still, business was slow and both the company and the plane were getting a bad name. In 2016, the Russian flight agency had to ground six planes because of metal fatigue. In 2019, a live camera caught another plane crashing. 41 people perished and because of this disaster, there was no way to grow in the western world anymore. Interjet, the only western carrier with the Suhoi Superjet 100, returned all 20 planes to the manufacturer, only 5 of which were operational due to spore part delays. 
The chief airlines claim that it is no longer profitable to operate aircraft of this size in Mexico seems of course questionable, given their operational issues. The European Union has banned this aircraft from flying in its airspace in 2022, due to the Russian aggression in Ukraine, and this ban still stands as of this video. The plane's future and reputation remain in doubt.